The ordination and coronation of Charles Alexander Davidson as a bishop of the Holy Catholic and Apostolic Church is brought together with a lot of pomp and ceremony. Uh, he is now the eighth bishop to be ordained in this country of Guyana. President Granger and First Lady Sandra Granger arrived to witness the very sacred and holy ceremony of Reverend Father Charles Davidson. Many from across the Caribbean and around the world came to Guyana to witness the ordination. It was filled with pomp and ceremony. Members of the government, judges, bishops and archbishops from around the world gave their blessing. It will be your duty to watch over and pray for those committed to your care. Since the death of the last bishop in 2015, the Anglican fraternity was left without a head here. Now, a son of the soil is called to this sacred office. In the sermon, the Reverend U. W. B. Chapman, rector of St. Philip's Episcopal Church from Jacksonville, Florida, USA, reminded Reverend Davidson the reason he had been called to such an office. So be a defender of the faith, a dispenser of the sacraments, but most importantly, a bishop who is always available for his priests and people. During the presentation, the provincial chancellor read the archbishop mandate, after which the ordained bishop had to lay face down on the ground to receive the blessings of the bishops. For ourselves, for the forgiveness of our sins, and for the grace of the Holy Spirit to amend our lives. In the end, he was presented with the Bible, anointed with oil, the rectorial cross, the ring, the mitre, and the pastoral staff. Then Bishop Davidson made the blessings of peace. Jesus said, Peace be with you. As the Father has sent me, even so I send you. The peace of the Lord be always with you. And also He was greeted and congratulated by his fellow bishops, parishioners, and President and Mrs. Granger, along with other members of the government. The Reverend Charles Alexander Davidson, now Bishop Davidson, has a lot of work to do in this country. We here on the Safe TV2 Headline News will be following him to ensure that the work of this great bishop, a man of the soil, will be spread across this country. Andrew Weeks reporting from the St. George's Cathedral for Safe TV 2 Headline News.